Take a look at the tail of the tape here. Very evenly matched, but the big difference is the experience. And I know, but what else can you do? He's got to do that. He's got to have that freedom. He's got to be, for want of a better term, fearless. And remember, folks, this is a finals. Both these guys have fought before, and you never, never know what a fighter is feeling or what he's been through in that first fight. Now, what Puck Bill did there is he's immediately looking to assert his authority. Samela's got to stand with him, and this is where he's got to look for the opportunity to throw that right hand encounter to the southpaw. It's almost like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. We had this laughing, smiling, dancing fighter, and now he isn't, whoa, well, that's not going to help his case. And now we've got the animal. We've got the dark side, the evil side of Puck Bill as one of those shots straight low. But what I like about Samela in these opening seconds of the round, he stood his ground, he hasn't backed off, and he's thrown that right hand twice. He hasn't landed it cleanly yet, but obviously his corner have said the same thing. You're against a southpaw. You step off outside his left leg and you throw that right hand through. He is bleeding again though already. Daniel. And I think that's a mistake by Salmela. If I were him, I would take every second I had to recover from that. And you can see he's really not still fully recovered. Look, he's still trying to... Yeah. I, I don't know if he got another low blow or not. The referee is warning him for a second low blow. He's Look saying at the Puck right Bill. side of his face. It's swelling up now. There's blood stains all over it. Man, he got that low blow. Sumela is really in bad shape here. And Pock Bill has got the ability and the accuracy to work that eye. And, th and that's what you would do. It's a cruel sport. He's got to work that eye. And if that's the stoppage, so be it. Oh, wow. Quick, powerful combination there from the Thai fighter representing Finland here. As I said, Daniel, it's easier said than done. You can tell someone what they've got to do and the possibility of the way to do it. But that, that also implies compliance from an opponent. And when you've got someone like Puck Bill in that opposite corner, it's so hard to do. For me, Samela is still doing nothing wrong, but he's still being outfought. Puck Bill is just absolutely ruthless inside the ring right now. And he is focusing all of that energy on a young Laurie Somela. Well, this is why he's so charismatic. You can see why the fans love him. Outside of the ring, smiling, good-looking, charismatic. Inside the ring, as you said, an animal, a shark that smells blood. You've got the best of both worlds. Can Sumela, the overwhelming underdog here, pull out a miracle against Park Bill? If it is, I'm telling you, it's one right hand over the top as Park Bill's coming in, doubling the impact. When Whoa. the man is so relaxed coming forward and so confident, if you double up that impact coming Whoa. in, but it's easier said than done. He hit him right in that cut, and the blood just exploded everywhere like a water balloon. We have seen that Laurie Samela is tough as nails, though. If anything, he can take a beating, and he's proving it right here. We saw it last time he was in the ring in March against Jan Naus. He's going to need it now. Now is when he needs it. He needs to dig down deep in his guts and say, Pock Bill, I am here. I want to be the Featherweight World Grand Prix, and nothing, not even you, is going to stand in my way. I agree with you 100%, but as I said, it's so much easier said than done when this man is coming forward so confident. What I love about Pock Bill is it looks so casual, but it's still so hurtful. That yeah, is such exactly. relaxation. <laughs> He just swans forward, and you think, and then when he lands, you can see the damage that's done. It's a beautiful combination of the art. And that's when you're in so control of your technique, when you're so happy. When they say the ring is your office, this is what that man is showing. Seventh round. His first fight in the semifinals only went to round number two. Will it be like deja vu all over again here for Polk Bill? Well, his corner told him last time to step it up, take one step in and, and do it harder and faster. And he listened to and he's doing it again. Look, he's Oh, wow. <laughs> Zumelo <laughs> wants it. He says, if this is what it's going to be, come on, so be it. I said to you, be fearless. It, it, it's your chance. Just go for it. If he's going to go out, he's going to go out on his sword. Exactly. What a way to go. Die with your boots on. He even pushed his head into Pockbill there to try and upset him. And that's what I love about a warrior. They'll do anything to win. And as they came close, he rubbed his hair into the eye of Pockbill. It did nothing, but I'm saying it's the attitude that I love from Sumela. And Sumela certainly has that attitude. 
He's willing to put all of his cards on the table. If Puck Bill wants a fight, he'll get it. Sumela with a big, powerful right. It didn't land clean. It landed on the inside of the shoulder, but that left hand landed. Well, he had to take the knee. He landed the right hand clean. Then he took the knee and the left hand right on the cut. That's what Puck Bill does to you. He took a good shot, landed the knee, and then landed the left hook afterwards as well. And there's a great knee on the inside, too, before the referee called for the break. Puck Bill lands to the left. And that right knee comes up automatically afterwards. This is the things he, he does so well. It's instinctive. He throws them. He works the angles. I love Samela's attitude. There is that fearlessness there. But it's against a man that's in total control of his abilities. And look at that timing with his footwork, Daniel. It's just lovely to see. He moves just away enough after he's done his work. Watch. He won't move right back, just enough to still be in range when he's finished his work. Look. It's beautiful timing. I think we could be looking at the future of the featherweight division, whoever wins this matchup here. Stanislav Renita of Moldova is waiting in the wings, the current featherweight champion. Last defended the championship in December of last year, so we may not see him until later in the year. But there again, th Three technique combination from Pop Bill, and yet Samail is still there. He threw that right hand back. If it lands cleanly just once as Pop Bill is in full flow coming forward, you could have that miracle for Samail, but it will need to be that because his opponent is throwing such combinations at such angles with all the tools. Time is slipping away here in round number two. This crowd is going ballistic here in full support of both of these fighters. They know both of these guys. They love both of these guys, and we have got ourselves a fight here in the finals of the KOK Featherweight World Grand. Incredible condition before this matchup here, and he looks like he could do this all night. Well, that was the other thing that impressed me when we were at the weigh-ins, true professionalism of these KOK fighters. Yeah. They were all coming in easily underweight. There were very few that were actually on weight. They were all virtually under, yeah. which just shows the professionalism. Third and final round here. This one will settle it. This one will decide who will walk out of here. The oh. 2019 Featherweight World Grand Prix champion. And business starting to pick up. That was a beautiful left from Pop Bill as Samela came forward. But there was a moment there beforehand when they turned, when the referee didn't actually say break. That's when Samela's got to hit him. The referee didn't say official break. Turn and hit the man whenever you can. Look at how skilled, how, how technically fluid Puck Bill is. Like I said, he, he is able to adjust and react within milliseconds and before you can do anything about it. And also, from there, the, you might not be able to see it, the bleachers, but you see how well defensively when he's finished his work, the arms just move and slide and the feet move. And he's hard, even at that range, look, even with the spinning back fist, he's hard to hit clean right in front of your face. He hit him with the left hand, though. And a big clubbing right from way back, but Puck Bill deals with it. And he's bleeding again, but as you can see, as soon as he comes in, Sumela cocks that right hand, almost like the hammer of a gun. He knows what he's got to do. He's behind on points. He's got to hit him hard and clean with one shot. He's not looking for the combinations. He's not looking to wear his man down. It's not going to happen. He's looking to stay there long enough to hopefully that one of those big rights will land. It's a tall order, but full credit to him because he's still trying that. He's still there waiting for that opportunity. Oh, wow. and he takes the foot to the mouth and he smiles. They both smile. Wow! <laughs> Incredible Beautiful. from both sides on that shot. The fact that Sumela was just smiling back at him. And what a cracking shot from Bill and another shot. That time in the kidney area on the right side of the abdomen. It's those subtle little shots like that that Pop Bill's been doing all night. And this is why I credit Sumela. People won't realize just how much oh! he's taken and he's firing back. What a final. Creeping up on 30 seconds left now in this third and final round. If is gonna do something, if he's got an ace up his sleeve, he's gotta unload with it right now. Now that right just missed. This is what he's gotta look for. That was so close. 
Hawk Bill was looking for a home run, but couldn't quite pull the trigger. So Mailer for me across rounds and two and three has really impressed with his desire to still win this, with his belief here. And he, he has, has gotten up better so as the fight's he gone on. He's soaked up so much to get where he needs to be. That was brilliant. That third. KOK World Grand Prix final fight. After three rounds by unanimous judge decision, the winner.